Hello, beer tubers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of puppets. Today, joined by Henley, the general of Goose, and Plinna. Yes, and today, guys, we're going to be looking at a Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout with coffee and chocolate. This is the um, Blue Mountain Barrel House Dark Hollow Chocolate and Coffee Aged Bourbon Barrel Aged Imperial Stout. That sounds kind of weird, though. Mm. It says Bourbon Barrel Aged on top here, and then it says Chocolate and Coffee Aged. So it's a Bourbon Barrel Aged co Chocolate and Coffee Aged. Imperial Stout. So, so, 10% Imperial Stout. I reviewed the regular version. Is, was it last year or the year before that with the, the Duke of Delirium, I think? One of the first bottle shares we did and the first bottle share where you joined as well. Yeah. Uh, and it was pretty good as far as I remember. I think I gave it like a 93, 92, something like that. And the Duke gave it like a 95. Um, but, you know, coffee and chocolate. Can be, can, barrel can can be more worse. Worse. I, I can't remember uh, how, how it uh, tasted. Uh, if it's two, to, two about two years ago, then yeah. that's pretty understandable. But it, it, uh, I, I think I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you usually love uh, barrel aged imperial mm -hmm. stuff, so uh, should we get this? Oh, can I, can oh. I own it? Okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We got the Blue Mountain Barrel House Dark Hollow Chocolate and Coffee Edition board, and that looks nice. You can, not nice. You can kind of smell it already. Like when we poured it, you can smell it. Dude, chocolate is in the air. <laughs> chocolate is in the air. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice tan head. Let's check out the aroma. Oh, yeah. <laughs> chocolate and green coffee bean mm -hmm. and bourbon. This smells much better than I remember the original bean. It smells absolutely delicious. Yeah. I, yeah wow. My mouth is watering right now as soon mm -hmm. as you started smelling it. Mm. Chocolate, coffee, uh, bourbon, vanilla, oak, almonds, mm. dark fruit, yeah. sweet molasses, mm. charred oak. It just, it, it just got, ooh, got a little bit of coconut. It's just got everything. A little bit of booze. Like, a little bit of booze. Not much. It's just it smells, it smells really it smells sweet. sweet. Yeah. Like yeah. milk chocolate, but also dark chocolate. It, it, I'm it, just it, rambling. You guys. Yeah, it, it reminds me a bit of, like, like you know, it's like, awesome. okay, this is kind of weird. But oatmeal, have you ever tried oatmeal but with, instead of milk, you pour chocolate on it? I can see that chocolate oatmeal sweetness. Milk. It's probably yeah. made with oatmeal. No, I've never tried that, but I have tried oh, mixing in uh, cocoa. I, I can see what you mean. Because kind of the there's like an oaty sweetness to it. Yeah. It smells yeah. fucking awesome. I want to try this. Mm. Let's give it a taste. Yep. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. Mm. I'm yeah. Mm. That's really nice, but surprisingly thin awesome. though. No, I, I don't think it's that thin. Maybe it's because the last chocolatey beer I had was Chocolate Rain. <laughs> but, oh no, this is actually this got the same stuff in it as Mocha Wednesday, but that is in a whole lot another league and that's like 18-19%, but this is still really nice. But the mouthfeel for me is like lighter side of full, maybe higher side of medium. But it's a, some really nice coffee chocolate flavor. Mostly chocolate. It's mostly chocolate uh, and then an aftertaste of like sweet coffee, mm -hmm. uh, sweet uh, freshly brewed co coffee. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and nice. With yeah. cream maybe. Um, oh yeah. For sure, like a mocha thing. Yeah. Is it beer? Yeah. Because yeah. 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 like, it's And it's not boozy, as I said, a little bit no. boozy on the aroma or anything. No, no, no. it's not bourbon though. Yeah. No, it's a good balance between bourbon and then the um, the, the kind of adjuncts, the, the mm -hmm. coffee and chocolate. There's also some vanilla, a little bit of almond, mm. definitely an oaky dryness on the back end, I think. Yeah. I still get a little bit of dark flavor. I still get that. It's that complex, to be honest. Mm. Nah, it's not super complex. It's just like straight up chocolatey. It's almost like chocolate. It's almost like one of those fucking like chocolate and yeah. Yeah. I still get that oatmeal as well. Yeah, yeah, that oaky sweetness. Yeah. Mm. I really like the coffee and chocolate flavor because it's so intense. And this is the 2015 version, I believe. Yeah. So the coffee chocolate flavors are still very fresh and vibrant, mm -hmm. like that green coffee. My biggest beef again is the mouthfeel, but it's certainly better than the regular version, which I gave a 92. So let's go 94, 95. See, I think the uh, mouthfeel is completely oh. fitting uh, what this is. It's, it's, it's just... I just sure. want it to be richer, but it's, it's, it's like more deliciousness. It's like a mocha. Cold mocha. <laughs> yeah. No, it, it's it's very good. But I recently like, had you know, ninety six or seven, even I think. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, I, yeah. I immediately thought ninety five, but I'm going with ninety six as well because it's yeah. It's just, okay. Perfect. 
but it is really nice. But the last beer I had like this was the brewery Mucker. Yeah, well, well, and that was a hundred. Yeah. So yeah. having a hundred and then having this after yeah. is like this seems less, even though it's still really good. Mm -hmm. But I had that beer not too long ago, so it's like you can't yeah, help but compare. But, I mean, you yeah. you, have, you have more to compare. Yeah. But it's, so, it's yeah. a, I mean, it's 94 is not a bad grade at no, all, no. 96 is a great grade. Mm. I mean, it's still a really damn good beer. If you get the chance to try it, you know, go and pick it up. And they still have bottles locally of this, yeah, man. which is weird. But I think it's because it's a brewery that no one really knows of. Let us know what you think of this bad boy if you had a chance to try it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And we're going to say cheers. 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 And see you guys in another beer video.